Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. So, or otherwise known as the Roach Tries to Pronounce Japanese Words show, the game in which Roach fails to pronounce Japanese words, and that's it. <laughs> uh, we haven't really done a lot. Uh, we've been building up our navy with the ultimate goal of trying to push Russia out of the Pacific, uh, because they're the kind of nearest uh power in terms of our ability to deal with them uh though our tensions have been somewhat high with germany and a couple of other euro states but we're trying to keep that not we're trying to keep that down i was going to increase our intel effort to high for russia because that increases our tension i think uh so yeah let's go ahead and let's go to the next we're all i mean we're building ships up but our budget's not great been delays uh, but yeah, you know, it, it's going. Next turn. So we have the Cockburn safety valve. So 1% savings on weight savings on machinery. That's good. 1% savings on hull because we've got improved riveting techniques. Uh, unexplained delays in our light cruiser. What's new? Uh, intelligence of Russia, new ship under construction. The Imperator has a top speed of 18 knots and a belt armor of 9.5 inches. Uh, new Russian destroyer is, is rumored to carry three-inch main guns. All right. It's not bad, not bad. Let's see what that is. So we still got about a year for our light cruiser. Okay. Uh, another heavy cruiser da laid down for Germany. Russia's putting down a Corvette. Okay. That's really all I care about. All right, there are reports that Russian scientists have invented a six-foot rangefinder. Okay. Oh, wait, can we make Corvettes? Yeah, we can make Corvettes. Might be something to do. Fill out and not have to worry about protection. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to... Check design. Everything's okay. I mean, it's got four-inch main gun, which is better than that Russian destroyer. Uh, 21 knots. Can we get 22? 22. 23. 24. 25 knots. Okay, so we have to do 24 knots. 24 knots is great. I'm okay with that. 24 knots, and can we get a little bit more ammo just for the staying power there? 200 rounds. That's fine. Okay. Save. Yeah. And we'll build up more of those. or 600 ton Corvettes. And we'll just kind of sprinkle them in Southeast Asia and in our home waters. And they'll be our coastal defense ships. There's been internal upheaval in Northern Korea. Oh, God. Push for an international force to thwart their expansionist plan. Reluctantly recalls their expedition as an international force arrives. Yeah. It's good. I, I mean, I don't like the increase in the tension, but I mean, still. Go to build screen. Let's build up a couple of these Corvettes. I want some. We'll build up 10 of them. We've got plenty of income. And we can do that for a little while. So next turn. Spies managed to get hold of blueprints for a British heavy cruiser. Okay, the Eucalyptus. I think. No, that's the. Uh, no, it's not the Eucalyptus. Uh, the uh, Yurala. The Yur. Yala. Fucking. Oh, whatever. What is this? Uh, eh, it's pretty good, actually. I don't. I mean, those turrets is something we have on one of ours, uh, but it's a bit slower. It's basically we have a scaled down version of this ship. I prefer our newer ones, though. Uh, nine and a half inch belt and ten inches of turret armor. Twenty-two knots for their for a new Russian light cruiser, and Great Britain's building bigger docks. Okay, so are we? Take that. Next turn. Some enterprising young officers in the naval intelligence have hatched a plan to blow up the capital ships of Germany at anchor. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. I like the tensions, but I don't want a war with Germany right now. We cannot afford it, nor can we actually fight it. 
uh, unexpected advances in submarines. We can build submarines. <laughs> That's the advance. Uh, new Russian Intel. Uh, new light cruiser, heavy cruiser. Uh, well, no, not new ones. Uh, belt ar uh, new light cruiser, belt armor, two and a half inches. Turret armor, two and a half inches. Uh, heavy cruiser, top speed, 20 knots, belt armor, six. Okay, medium weight, medium wing turrets have been invented by them. Okay. Russia's increased their naval budget. Not great for us. Hey, 11 inch guns, that's good. Uh, okay. New, our coastal battery is being built in the Baltic states by Russians. Another Da Vinci class battleship for the, for Italy. Unexpected delays in one of our Corvettes. Great. Even the Corvettes are getting delayed. That's great for our industry. <laughs> Spy from Russia's, uh, no, we want to increase tensions with Russia and get a little bit more budget. Uh, we're all in the right understanding. Face hardening, that's good. Uh, we're happy to report they are close to managing, uh, mastering six foot range finder. That's good as well. Uh, are close to mastering power rammers. That's good. Yeah, some technology coming out. All right, nothing really new going on here. Some intel on heavy cruisers and light cruisers for the British. Yeah. There we go, a little bit extra income. Hopefully it'll keep us afloat long enough for these Corvettes to be finished. Spy from Germany, handle that one quietly and discreetly because we can't afford to increase our tensions with Germany anymore. Problems in delivery equipment have delayed the construction of the Fiji. <sighs> Come on, Great Britain. Uh, let's see here. Italy is spending 10% of their naval budget on research. All right. I don't know why we're getting so much intel from everyone else. Uh, has a budget balance of, ooh, they're in the red. They're building larger docks. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Well, on their way to understanding six-foot rangefinder. Power rammers have been invented. That's a rate of fire improvement. Russia is said to be increased their naval budget. There are reports that Russian scientists have invented reliable bursting charges. Oof. All right. We're almost through here. New docks have been completed. That's nice. Top spy is managing to hold the blueprints of an Italian battleship currently under construction. This is a part of the Da Vinci class. So 12 inch guns, 19 knots, 14.8 uh, thousand tons. Uh, eight and a half inch belts, kind of light. It's quick. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We can work with that. We. That's good to know, actually. That seems to be their main battleship they're building up. Uh, face hardening's been done. Okay, so armor, uh, improvement of armor quality is nice. Double bottom gradual increase, uh, gradual damage control improvement is good. Uh, unexpected advances in ship design. Medium wing turrets enable secondary wing double turrets of up to 10 inch caliber. Oof. That is good. Anything from Russia? Mm, Russia reports have uh, made periscope. Okay. Uh, increase in, in um, uh, naval spending from Great Britain. Yeah. Okay, we're almost done with this round of building. Six foot range finder's good. Good. Okay, they're still building the 12 inch coastal battery. Unexpected delays in a light cruiser. Uh, all right. Come on. Just need to get these. There's been an inter internal appeal in Northern, in Northern Korea. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there's a chance that we can take it over as a colony. Yeah, well, we're going to send that. Order is restored in Northern Korea. This place is now under our administration. Yes! We've taken North Korea, and Germany's got South Korea. That's not great. Historically, that's not great. Though, I do like the tension with Russia. Not everybody else, though. That's not great. Okay, next turn. Okay, light cruiser's been commissioned. That's good. Six Corvettes into the Navy. That's nice. Uh, Russia, the reports of Russia, scientists have in safe fuse arming devices. Russia's building a six-inch coast battery in northeastern Asia. Mm. Uh, Germany's commissioned another battleship. Okay. Hey, we can go ahead and resume construction of that. And we're still in the black by 
two whole dollars or two thousand dollars i think is what it actually is so that's good uh and one more month for this battleship to be done once uh, that's done we won't have to depend on great britain any longer because of our dock size has actually increased quite a bit i mean they still have better guns than us but uh, i mean still okay the fuji has been commissioned to the navy four more corvettes into the navy unexpected advances in hull construction so one percent savings on the hull all right Another destroyer, three destroyers for Germany, and a battleship of the Hanover class. All right. Okay, so those are all being built. Russian tension is well up there. Let's see here. We are still building up our heavy cruisers. We're actually basically on par with them right now, though they're building up uh, another four on top of that. Our light cruisers are where we're really suffering. Corvettes are up. Okay, so let's look at... Well... Of the light cruisers we have... Still got these two. Which are good. 2-inch belts, 23 knots, 5-inch guns. Then these are 21 knots. I like the quicker speed of these ones. I like these... So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with those. We're gonna build an uh nope, not we're gonna build ship. We're gonna build some more of these six uh six point uh six thousand seven hundred ton uh I just had it because I, I said it last time, didn't I? I was it was uh the tech uh Takashiro Takashiro class. Uh yeah, Takashiro. I'll get it eventually, or not. I mean both of them are just as likely. I mean the Takashiro class is good. We, I mean, we have gotten some more tech, so can we build a better light cruiser? Let's just see. It's five inch guns. It's pretty light. 20 knots. I usually just go until it gives it spits out a design that's kind of close to what I want, and then I'll modify it. I mean, that one's not bad. Two six inch guns. Uh, so let's bring this up. Displacement. The Takashiro class is displacing 6,000 tons. So let's go ahead and let's do straight 6,000 ton. I want that thing firing 7 inches. Yeah, 7 inches are fine. Two 7 inch guns. 8 inch guns are going to be too much. Actually, no. 8 inch guns in two turrets. Then we get some 5 inch guns there. And we put them on turrets to the side. All right, displacement's really the only thing that's bringing us down. So let's get you 23 knots. Okay. So now all we need to do is let's get three inches of armor. All right. Increase ammunition by a bit to 160. Let's make this a range long. Nope. Colonial service. Could do that. Okay, we still got 200 tons spare. Reliability on the engine. And a couple of three inches. That gets us 23 knots, which is on par with the Takashiro class. Uh, Takashiro class is firing 10 inch or 10 5 inch guns. This has got two 8 inch guns, which I like, plus eight 5 inch guns, which is pretty good, actually. So we've got, I mean, this thing is pretty well armed. It's quick and it's not as heavy plus it's good for colonial service it's got a decent reliable engine plus I, th I think more armor I think the Takashiro does not have three inches of belt armor yeah and it is considered so this is what is it this is the she the Shashima the Shashima class we'll go ahead and uh 
research that for two months. See how that goes. Okay, the Awa the Awate has been commissioned to the Navy. Signed to support that they're well on the way of standing reliable bursting charges. Uh, baffled by the problems of destroyers of up to 900 tons. Oh, we need uh, heavier ton destroyers as well. Well, we can do that. We can design some destroyers. They'll be researched pretty darn quick. Destroyers of higher tonnage. 600 ton, 3 inch uh, guns, couple of 2 inchers. They've got some torpedoes, decent uh, engine, absolutely no remaining weight. I like that. And this is the, uh, the Kikazuki. The Kikazuki? I think, yeah. Kikuzuki. I think that I think that's how you pronounce that. Again, it's it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get close most of the time. Uh, we'll go ahead and research that for a month. Uh, all right. Next turn. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, those Corvettes finished their working up. Russia laid down another Corvette. Russia is building an 11-inch coastal battery in Northeast Asia, 6-inch coastal battery in Northeast Asia. Germany commissioned uh, the, uh, the Hessen. All right. Ready for construction. Go to build screen. Let's build a couple of those destroyers. We've got plenty of income. I want to put eight of them down. And the, Shish the Shishima class will go ahead and just put two of them down for right now. We're going to build more of them, but we'll put two of them down now. We're a little bit in the red, but it's not that bad uh, because we'll be built. We're building up a decent destroyer force, which will be good. And our light cruiser force will be a lot better than what the Russians have. I think <sighs> our heavy cruiser force is going to have to be bolstered a lot. And so is our, Battleships or heavier ones are, are taking a back seat right now in this like set of building uh, orders, but we'll see. The Fuji finished her working up, nice. And ex okay, exact uh, scientist of doubtful repute offers to sell his latest invention in turrets and gun mines for six forty. Six forty, we've got plenty. Hopefully, we get it. The prime minister wants to reduce. Uh, Deuce finest for the Navy to build a new palace and a luxurious yacht for the head of state. What do you do? Uh, enlist help of the Naval League. We get a little bit less budget. Better prestige. We'll get more prestige. We can take a little bit of a hit on the, the budget right now. Just a little bit. Hopefully it's not a lot. Uh, reliable bursting charges and increases damage from penetrating hits is good. Okay, what has Russia got? Not a lot they're doing. They commissioned a couple of heavy cruisers. Uh, they commissioned a heavy cruiser. They laid down another Corvette. Yeah, it wasn't too bad on the the actual income there. And this uh, The other Awade class, the Azuma, is uh, 18 months out. Okay, the Awade finished her working up. It's good. The invention of the exact has proven to be a considerable value to our research in... Hey, there we go. It worked out. Uh, side drums increased uh, weight savings on machinery. That is good. Uh, report from Russia. There are reports that Russian scientists invented side drums. Hey, so did we, buddy. Uh, okay, they are still at tension 10. 12 is the, uh, the war point, so... Let's just hope we don't have to deal with that. Also, is anybody building subs? Anybody building subs? Russians are building subs. They've got some. Everybody's got subs but us. Uh, except, well, except for the U.S. They, they're building some, but they don't have any. Actually, there are a couple that don't have any, but still, that might be something we need to look into. Okay. Intelligence from France. France don't care. Intelligence from Russia. They're building a lot of batteries. Coastal defense battery is not really important for us. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and build up another dock size. Because we have the cash. We'll do it. Because we need it. Scientists made unexpected advances in submarines. Okay. In a periscope. Nice. Uh, there are reports that Russian scientists have improved signaling. Oof. All right. Next turn. 
Our ship, the CA uh, Tokwa, has blown up under mysterious circumstances in Jinsan. It is suspicious that saboteurs from Russia might have been responsible. The conservative press is demanding action. What do you recommend? Damn it. That, uh, we don't have a lot of heavy cruisers to spare. That was actually... That was them. That's bad. Cannot go out of... Ah. All right. We're going to war. We're going to war with Russia. Fuck. Fuck me. Okay. Russia commissioned another heavy cruiser just as we lost one. Strikes and labor unrest delayed the construction of a, a light cruiser by one month. That's just great. Okay. Japan and Russia are now in a state of war. Okay. Select a possession for surprise invasion. We have northern... We have North Korea. So this would actually make sense. Surprise invasion there. Surprise attack! Estimated enemy forces, one battleship, nine destroyers. We have six battleships, three heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, 24 destroyers. All right, let's do this. Mobilize all ships for a surprise attack? Yes. Ooh, I did not mean for sound to be here. Hold on. Uh, video and sound. Background sound. There we go. So we're attacking Port Arthur. Our destroyer divisions are going in. And we've got our battleships, light cruisers, heavy cruisers. Yeah, that makes sense. Sink any two ships. So we're going ahead. Straight to Port Arthur. Surprise attack, middle of the night. It is nighttime, so that's good. Probably should have invested in nighttime, like, uh, training. And we're going to tell these guys to go to squadron max, 17 knots. And these guys to go up to 17 knots. We'll see what the destroyers find. They should encounter practically nothing here. And I want to destroy everything at Anchor and Port Arthur as a surprise attack. Okay, they found something. Okay, heavy cruiser at Anchor. Let's, yeah, okay, all my settings are the same. They, they've still got them. Going that way. Gonna go support the destroyers. Let's see what we got. Destroyers are coming back. They found where the enemy ships are at anchor. Okay, light cruisers got a little too far. All right. Independent, I want you to patrol for battle division. Then you, you're in support, it's good. You're supporting good. I want you to support Battle Division. Same with you. Battle Division 5. Okay, here we go. Okay. Taking a turn. There's the enemy ships. We're identifying that as the battleship. Turn. And a DD have collided. Okay, hopefully our light cruiser's doing fine. 
We're turning away from those destroyers so we don't get hit by torpedoes. We're going 10 knots. Okay, engine room hit. Turn around here. Okay, good. We're starting to make hits. Okay, we're going to cut across here, get it between them and Port Arthur. Turn. Just keep this going. Push them along the coast. Okay. Oh yeah, we're making good progress here. We're getting good hits on the enemy. I'm okay with just destroying a couple of ships. That'll still be a successful attack. Collision, okay. Two of our dest two destroyers struck each other. Go straight towards the coast. Okay, battleship just came out to play. Turn here. All right. You're on fire, on fire. Okay. Let's hope we can continue damaging that battleship. Crosses T, crosses T. Oh, we hit a transport somewhere. Don't know where that was. Oh, apparently there's a transport down there. Cool. Come on. Hit that damn battleship. Okay. He's going 10 knots. That's not great for him. We need to sink ships to get this. That transport's going to go down, or might have already gone down. They hit it a couple of times, and that's a lot for a transport at least just good signals that is a squadron coming down come on Just need to get a decent hit on something. Blow it up. Come on. Just 
make this work. Okay, we hit that medium transport again. That's gonna go down eventually. Missed with another torpedo. Turn here. Come on, three inch guns gotta be doing damage to that guy. Medium damage. Squadron max 16, we've lost a little bit of speed. We sank one ship, just one more and we can call off the attack. Turn through here. Come on. Okay, pull out a little bit here. Let them come out of their their port. Make them seem like it's uh, it's all fine. Do a wide turn through here. Yeah, they're supporting. Support, not patrol. Let's see if they get over here. Get a little bit extra. Okay, turn back towards the port. Let's see if we can get them. Maybe we'll see something. Go 14 knots. See if we spot anything. Okay. So it's Victor for us. We did not complete our objective, but we did damage some destroyers and a battleship, or a, well, a dreadnought. We sank an auxiliary. We got some light damage on some destroyers. Everything else was fine. Okay. End game. Okay. Minor victory. And now we can place our corvettes on to our trade protection. Yes. And there we go. Now we don't have to take any of our destroyers off for that. Nice. They're getting built up. We're not bleeding money anymore. And we're invading that peninsula, the Liotong Peninsula, is I think how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going to say. Uh, the Liao Tong Peninsula. Uh, we're going to get that island eventually. And who knows, maybe the Russian Far East, but most likely not. We need to... We need to beat the Russians. They've got quite a bit over here, though, I think. They've got... What do they got? Uh, yeah, a lot. We'll see if they're in mid trend They've got some, like, cruisers moving down. Battleship. Some destroyers. Yeah, they're already starting to transfer ships over to the Pacific Theater. So that's going to be something we have to deal with. But we will have to deal with that next time because we're at the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.